another room. <laughs> Try hack me. This one is called uh, Startup, and basically tells us that abuse traditional vulnerabilities via on traditional means. So, um, I see that a lot of people have been in this room, and as we noticed in the last video that I created, was a lot of weird formulations and you found a lot of flags and stuff like that. So let's go check how, go check and see if there's any write-ups for this video. And there's a lot, a lot. Of, whoa, <laughs> that's many. That is a really good sign, which basically means that a lot of people completed the room. And you can also, I guess you can scroll down. Sometimes they do mention it. Not in this room. Anyways, I started the room. This is a, an easy one. The IP address is up. And we are Spice Hut. So I guess this will be like Pizza Hut, but Spice Hut instead. A new starter company that just made it big. We offer a variety of spice, spices and club sandwiches. In case you get hungry. Well, that do happen. <laughs> but that is not why you are here. To be truthful, we aren't sure if our developers know what they're doing and our security concerns are rising. We ask that you perform a thorough penetration test to try our own route. Good luck. So this room is basically, you're hired to do a pen test and basically this is this is what you're gonna do. So you, you got the background, the story, and let's go ahead and copy the IP address, go ahead and just go to the website. Because they did tell us that our developers don't know what is, no no have no idea what they're doing. This is a you know I just this is a website. So what is the secret soups recipe? So basically, this is our website, and you can press this contact us. It's an empty link. We can view sources and just quickly see that we have our CSS and. No spies here. When we're gonna update this, and we have nothing else to go on here. Nope, nothing. So this would seem really dead. Another good thing to go ahead and look for is robots.txt. So robots.txt is a it's a file that contains, you know different path and hidden directories that we do not want the web crawlers to visit. Sometimes we can get a direct, you know, hit on secret or something that people put in. So no robots.txt, so that is fine. Also another typical one is to try something called admin or upload and stuff like that. But what we're gonna do here in this occasion is basically just gonna copy this. I'm gonna open a new terminal, just like that. And now I'm gonna, that's maybe too big, run GoBuster on a directory exploration, uh, not exploration, exploration, there we go. And the word list is user, share, uh, word list, dear, Buster, Buster, Buster. And directory list 2.3 medium. I'm gonna run this. Do we still install it? So <laughs> I haven't installed it yet. Anyways, I'm gonna install it now. And basically that's done. I'm gonna clear the screen. I'm gonna run it again. So now we're running and while Goldbuster is running, I'm also going to start an nmap scan, just a basic one. Let's go right, go ahead, go right ahead and type nmap. I'm going to verify for versions. I'm basically just going to do this IP address. So S the tag or the dash, what I'm going to call the flag um, SV is for versions. So we're trying to detect any kind of versions going on on the server. I'll do that. Let's go ahead and visit the slash files. So slash files is the new location. So what we see here is the um, FTP folder, uh, an image and a notice. Let's 
go ahead and click on the notice and we see something like whenever whoever is leaving them damn among us memes not funny people down in diamond from websites okay Maya so we have a name Maya so let's go ahead and take notes Maya is a name so that is a possible username we can use for some things at some point maybe in the future. All right, let's go ahead and look at the picture. Uh, yeah, everybody asks who's the imposter, but nobody asks how's the imposter. So let's go ahead and visit the FTP folder. And that seems quite empty, which kinda leads me to believe there is a FTP. Is there FTP server here? So let's go ahead and check the the scans. And we got a port 21 FTP, port 22 SSH. So there's a possible login and our Apache web server. So I guess we should go ahead and do a login to um, FTP. Let's do some anonymous login, I guess. So let's go ahead and write FTP. Um, I cannot spell to that, anyways. It's one of my weaknesses is to spell out things. So let's go ahead and do. I think that is the way, and then do something like 10, 10, 22, 99. I think that would be it. Not connected. Um, let me just see. Name. Password. All right, so we logged in now. Uh, we got the anonymous login. And the password were anonymous, <laughs> anonymous, and uh, yeah. So I'm gonna list the directories. What we have here is basically the same as we had here. So it would say, let's just you know get notice dot text, and let's go inside FTP and see what's inside there's nothing inside which would probably mean that we are done there and notice let's just cat that out yeah it's the same thing so let's remove the notice so it would seem that even though we had anonymous access we didn't really give us anything new so let's go ahead and so Basically, it would seem that we would need some sort of uh, secret, whatever. What is the hint for that? FTP, FTP, what could possibly go wrong? Yeah, a lot of things. Okay, so we could try and get access to to the server uh, using, um, where was it again? We have different scans here, so let's go ahead and see. Nothing more. Go buster found. So we could try and brute force our way. We can also try and take this VS FTP name and go ahead and visit the um, exploit DB, which is you're gonna you're gonna love this site because you can just put in whatever service you find in the search up here, and it will find different kind of versions. And the versions we had for this is 3.0.3. So basically, 303 got something called remote denial of service. Well, we're not interested in that. Not then, gonna not gonna deny. This could be interesting. Backdoor command execution. Um, this could also be interesting, but it's a 3.0.3. Yes, it is. So I don't think this will do us anything good. It's just gonna 
Uh, let's see, you can block uh, connection limited. It lets you restrict and proxy server will work. Yeah. So it would seem that this is just a a DOS attack and basically not do anything good for us. So I assume since this doesn't didn't show us anything good here on exploit DB that exploiting the service of let's just see where it was of FTP of can I find it now there we go <laughs> no oh my okay there we go then probably what we're gonna do is it brute force brute force our way in using some I guess Hydra for SSH all right so it would seem that brute forcing is it's unusual for this kind of room let's just go back for a second and see what was the secret and the hint something very long and the hint for root of courses of the scripts but for that one it is ftp and http and since there isn't any kind of thing on the HTTP protocol apart from this is insecure, I mean, sorry, insecure, non-HTTPS, we could try and do... Well, I don't think this is steganography or anything, which is also kind of more advanced, not usually not seen in easy rooms. Or you can try and do something called strings on, on the this file here, but... This is things that I would usually do on advanced rooms, but not in the easy rooms. So what I really think we should do is to try and find this window. Oh, our wow, first try. Um, and really try and revisit the FTP server. Oh, what did I copy the name that I cannot spell because this is just one of those names. Yeah, come on. There we go. Paste. Yep. And let's paste it again. And let's just ls and see that. Yeah. Okay. So we have this empty FTP library here, and we have this one there. But pay pay, pay close attention to something I missed. It's like. Christmas lit. Now we can write to it, we can execute from it, we can wow, we can everything. So let's just go ahead and do like a let's let's put a file in there for, for testing. So I would like to open a new window. I'm the master of terminal windows. Let's just touch a file called test. Is this a PHP server? What is it? Hmm. Let's take the chance, it's a PHP server for now. And let's see, test PHP. I'm gonna write this PHP script, something really fast. And do stuff like echo, hello. And then let's put the test.ph, was it the right folder? Transfer complete. Wow. All right. All right, all right, so we have <laughs> an insecure FTP anonymous reflected folder to the public internet, you know, and we can upload files. So basically, what I guess we could do now is to go ahead and Google PHP command execution script. I guess that would suffice. Let's see. Um, pin test monkey. Let's go ahead and take that one. Reverse shells. Yeah, why not? Let's just do reverse shell then, I guess. Let's go ahead and take it. Uh, PHP reverse shell. Let's do raw and take the URL and. Okay. And let's uh, w get that. And let's nano into PHP reverse shell. Sorry for the size, let me resize it. 
what you got to do now is just scroll down and find this IP and port. We're going to open up a listener for 5555 and basically we're going to reverse the connection to me, which is I am 10 11 0 2 1. I'm going to save this and what I'm going to do now is to pick the right window. Perfect. Put the the name of the file, which was there. You go. I'm gonna check if it's there. It is there. I can execute it. When I click this, I will totally execute um, the command on pause five five five, which will grant me a reverse shell. And this script is called. I never forget. You really for remember these things like I'm gonna start a reverse listener for netcat here on 5000 that's uh, by the way the flags people um, so let's see the flags for LVNP 5000 so we can see the flags here I do the the L is basically listen mode so that is for inbound connection the, the V is for the the both, so we do get some uh, feedback back when the connection is incoming. And the N is numeric only IP addresses, no DNS. Yes, and P is the um, uh, local port. So we are also adding on port. So I'm gonna start Netcat Listener. I'm gonna press this button. It calls do, 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 do. connection refused. Warning fails to demonize. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well let's just have a look on the file one more time. There's a slight chance we would we need to do Oh it's five five five. Yeah 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 yeah. Let's give me go back again and do no. Mm. Yeah yeah. Um save it yeah yeah. Exit and five 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 and then let's stick to this window here and it's hanging we have a shell id i'm i'm dot 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 data what's inside here okay so now i need to upgrade my shell i think i have a script here somewhere that needs to do that for me um Uh, where do I have that saved on the other screen? I do not. So let's go ahead and do like uh, let's do like um, pen testing upgrade shell. I guess this is. I just pick the link. This seems too pro. It's not a. So let's see upgrading simple shells. Yeah, there we go. So we need to do something like start a Python script or something. Let's see. I should really learn these by head one day, but I'm just not, just not happening. I'm gonna upgrade the shell, and then I need to run this. Let's see. Um. I don't want to do a lot of things. Uh, I think this would do it. Uh, sorry, I see. Am I right? No. Dash. No. Ah, oh, god damn it. Wait, I'm gonna re. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna stick to this Python shell, I guess. And I have top top top. So go ahead and say let's just do this export. And let's do let's do let's do that one here. And one day I should really get this as like a script I can just copy paste. And let's see L 
No. Um. Yeah, no, it's, it's some of this. It's, it is some of this. In Kelly, in Virtual. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this together one day. Let's just go back to the. Um, let's see. Clear. No, LS. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look. Let's see. CD slash home. Lenny permission denied. Okay, so let's do user. Hmm, share games. Hmm, what could we hide around here? Let's do the typical pseudo. Um, No. All right then. All right. It is quite late. Let's just go ahead and visit the. What is happening? The root again, and let's see. What do we see here? Um, recipe that. Text. Someone asked today, keep a secret, and someone asked what made me. I figured I can't keep it a secret forever and told him it would love. Oh, wow. Okay, so the first answer to, to this would be love. So now, basically, what we have left is the uh, cheers in Coca Cola zero sugar today so now we have the uh, the user and the root left to get um, and sometimes I get root before I get the user so let's see what I do get um, let's do a view on this to see what's going on so we have this what's it called uh, incidents that's gonna be a weird one to see Incidents inside you have a sus what a pcap file. Okay, <clears throat> let's nano into no way. Let's um, let's find a way to download that. Do I have a script? Ready to download. Let's just say uh, Katsu Species P Cap NG. That's a lot of nonsense. Oh, we do get some information about users and stuff. Um. But nothing really. A lot of stuff. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. So let's go ahead and take. Uh, what's it like? Va. Lip, no, mm, yeah, top it up. Permissions tonight. We are already there. Where was the FCP folder again? I keep forgetting that. pop reverse shell dot php hmm let me just 
see. <laughs> okay. Um, let's just forget about that. Clear. I cannot clear. Uh, let's go slash ls. Let's go to incidents. I want this file. They can do it with netcat. So I would need to do a. Let's just see. It's a um, listen mode. And the port. Let's just do do this port. And let's take this file, which I need to find the name of again it was here um, I should read write down these things so I guess we have it here suspicious whatever thing and then no what did I press again I said paste that's a really bad idea and just go back here Okay. Uh, so now we have that that listening. We're gonna open a new terminal. Let's do a net cat. Uh, what was it? What was it again? I need to remember these things. I need keep. So time out to connect. I think. I think we could do like three seconds and then the attack machines IP would be 10, 10, 2, 2, 2, 99 and then we would take port that and would take that into this, no whatever p cap ng fire mm. Mm. oh yeah probably need to do the same name so space c o s p cap ng P. Oh, it's lagging now. S U S P C I O U S P cap N G. I would like to think this is the way to do it. No. Uh, um, let's go ahead and get the shell again. And we need to get this. Why did I save it? to get the um let's do this and then do that and then do I'm trying to do this now Fuck that up. All right, so let's um, just go ahead and, and do the Python script. Let's just totally forget about trying to upgrade the shell for now. I'm gonna have to work that out another day. Let's go ahead and do incidents. And let's then 
can I start a Python web server? Let's go ahead and say we have Python, right? So which Python, 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 it's like that's this version or something, it's 2.7, so Python 2.7 web server, S symbol, I think that is the, that one, then we can use the, uh, the Python script to host a simple web server on that port let's go ahead and just paste that in now we are hosting that web server so let's go ahead and take the ip address and say 8000 as the port and we have the file here that's another way of doing it that's really good and we're getting away with this I'm gonna do some sketchy stuff do the all right, let's go back in, get the connection. We are running. I'm getting a hang of this, right? You know, my problem is that I, I know how to, I know how to do many of the things, but I just forget to take notes. That's that's a big issue. So, um, let's open the file. Oh, it's. Uh, Wireshark, do we have it? Wireshark, thank you. All right then, let's have a look at this. Whatever it is. Say what again? Is it? Is it empty? That's not good. I kind of hoped it would work. Why doesn't it work this time? Zero bytes. What's wrong? So, permission denied. All right then. Hmm. Could we like, uh, I think we had the, wasn't it files it was called? So where is the files located? I'm I'm still thinking we need to <coughs> to copy it over to the um, FTP. So let's do user. I cannot spell now. User f no lib. Where's the files directory this is some of the things that I really should try and remember because I clearly know how to do it it's just uh, okay let's do this Linux search for a folder this is embarrassing yeah <coughs> So I'm gonna look, look for folder name. We how to find a folder name? Command find uh, something simple, please. Type the name documents. Whoa! All right then. Let's go ahead and say and say files then. Okay, so we are basically left in the dark. Maybe I'm overthinking this. Let's just go ahead and do like 
uh, user, and then we have the where was the top top top? Can you tell that I'm really tired right now? Because I am actually really tired. Um, local? Did I? No. Let's just explore this machine a bit. Uh, so it's var. Okay, so inside this, we have no permissions. Files, FCP. What if I do? <laughs> That's very sketchy. <coughs> so let's let's go ahead and do like a touch. Let's can we touch test? No. Touch slash file slash FTP test. No. Okay. Let's go back again. I think I have to have another shot. It's gonna be a very long video for a lot of tries. You know, I'm I'm gonna try to record some videos. Not a lot of them because it's gonna be really long videos where I show a lot of the struggle that I sometimes have that I have to, you know. Um, read and stop the video but in this occasion I'm uh, I only started a few times to get a drink or something so let's go ahead and do incidents again what about if I copy suspicious p cap ng to a location that I think I found on Google that could be the one so it would be va vivid dot 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 and then we have HTML of course, and then it was files, and then it was FTP. Okay, I'm gonna cross our fingers now. <clears throat> That's not very good. Uh, let's copy that again. No, not. Just. With a slash in the end. Cannot that soup. Oh, mamma me. Oh. Yeah. No matter. CP spelling issue. Space. Us. And this is kind of embarrassing in a way that so many. Spelling errors of being made. Okay. Yes. Really good. <coughs> Directory this thing. Not that one. Um yeah. Let's go ahead. Files. Suspicious PCAP file. Open it with Wireshark. No. What's wrong with that file? Is it empty? Did it? No. No. What? What? When did I do that? When did I delete that file? Oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, <clears throat> so now we only have one thing to do, and that is to clear the room, we haven't, nope, oh snap, um, history, no, So I'm gonna restart the room. Um, terminate. Start the machine. And I will then get a new 
IP address. I'm gonna pause the video until then. So we back. So basically, what I'm gonna do now is uh, take some terminal, which is not this one. I'm just gonna listen, whatever. And I'm gonna take yeah, quit, quit. Thank you. I'm gonna go ahead and nano into. Now that we have it, we can just basically do this pretty fast now because we know what to do. We know what is wrong. You know, <laughs> this is still the same. Yeah, I'm just it's just so tired. Let's go ahead and do FTP to 163.83 and nominus. And um, no, no, damn it. Let's go again. Spell that quit FTP password CD into FTP, and we're gonna put the PHP reversal. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this. Let's just see, copy paste that there, slash files, FTP, gonna start reverse shell, it is listening. Where did I have it? John. Nope. Nope. Okay, we're done with that. This is the first. I seem kind of find my own shell. There we go. Let's go ahead and upgrade it. So where do I have it? Do, 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 do. Just a tiny bit. Um, and ridiculous amount of time for this room. Let's do this. And I think I found it, the one I need. This is the one I need. And then do... Can I do LS? I can still not tap. Then we're gonna suspend it, and then... I'm playing with the fire. I have a shell, ladies and gentlemen, I have a shell. I'm gonna keep this. And what I wanted to do now is very, very important task of in, no. I'm gonna get the incidents and let's just, as sh yeah, I, I must have deleted this some, I have, so. It's, it's just no. Um, yes, files, FTP. It's there. We're gonna pop it. We're gonna click it. Open with Wireshark. Voila, that's. We have our data. I'm so happy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right then. So let's um, go and look at the HTTP stuff. And what we get here is the, let's just open this a bit more. Line based text error, successfully open reverse shell. Uh, yes. Let's see what we have. Uh, just quickly looking at what we have here. So, okay. Looks very interesting, some of it, I guess. Okay. It would seem that there were some shell. Uh, who might that have been? Hmm. 
Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at the TCP. Um, let's take the first package and follow, 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 follow. Where was it? Follow TCP stream. Hmm. Uh, let's do this one. Follow the stream. No. Let's go ahead and. No, I don't. I just want all of it, please. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Application data. Let's follow that. No. Yeah. So we need to find the correct TCP stream that it's just, you know. Well, let's go ahead and just look at some of them. And if you look down here, um, below you can see that there are a hexadecimal view and some text you can be translated from whatever it's going going on. So let's go ahead and just see if something pops up that makes any that was not of the HTTP. So we just continue doing this, you know, and I know. So now we have something here. It seems like we can understand half of it, but it doesn't look like anything important. Now we begin to like load something. So now I'm thinking, okay, let's try just and follow TCP stream now. And, and then we get a lot of text. And basically what we do with this is we follow the TCP stream and all the things, all the packages being sent. This is not one whole package, this is several packages. We can see different kind of things that went on here. And we just look at it, it looks like someone logged in you know, with dot 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 data and did a ls, you know, spawn the shell. Uh, looked like someone entered Lenny's permission denied. And Oh, my mom, we have a password here for Lenny. So I would take this to the file and write, not that one. Possible username is Lenny and the password would be this. And the reason I know that is because it's the guys being sudoed into. So that's going to be Lenny. Sorry, the, the password for dub, dub, dub data is this password. Sorry. So that's going to be dub, dub, dub data. I'm going to look again, and it would seem that. Incorrect. Pa oh, so that may be incorrect. Um. But we do have some things to go for. This could be the password. Um, yeah. Okay. All right, so it would seem that this is what we could get from Wireshark. And I actually want to look at this password one more time. It is not the password for dot dot data. Then it, it would have to be Lenny, I guess. Well, we can find out. So let's clo close Wireshark and um, go to the whatever shell is running there. So SU. Lenny, let's take the password. And 
paste it in and all right so we have lenny's password so let's say slash home if we have lenny and inside the lenny folder we have a user flag and hey <laughs> we got our first flag i lost a lot of there we go and now we need to get a root flag so oh, let's go ahead and get this okay let's let's do this now let's go ahead and look at scripts and we have something called planner what's inside of startup the text nothing what's inside of planner okay let's just have a look at this Planner is owned by Root, and Root can do different things. Okay, so inside of the script we have, I can read it and execute it. I echo a dollar list variable and whatever write this to this file. So what's in, inside of list, uh, list. In sh. Oh, that's not the way to do it. I, I, I'm too fast. Um, it would seem that we would need to put something into this environment variable, and then print sh. What is that? Ls. Owned by Lenny? What is that? Echo, no, it's just a, okay. So it would seem we need to do something with this variable here, execute it and in some way escalate our privileges. So I'm thinking if this is being executed with root privileges, let me just, you know, clear the screen and do lssh again. The planner script is being executed with root privileges. And this file here is, um, owned by me and I can nano into that. Okay. And why not just you, could I do bin sh? And what if I just run the planner script? I'm still Lenny. I lost my shell. Oh. This is oh wait a second. Uh, nano to see print sh bin. Could I could do a bash instead, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and execute that. So now we are back to being Lenny. So that was not a possible way to do it. Hmm. So we're doing it advanced then, right? What I think we should do is still need to write something to this file here. What is it? Print sh. And we need to do some some kind of reverse. Yes, that's what we need to do. We need to do a reverse shell to print sh. And basically, what I do is go to let's say pen test monkey. What's it called? Uh, bash reverse shell. I think that would be it. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and take this for now and just, yeah, all this is fine. And I'm gonna connect 
to me, which is which is going to be 10, 11, 201. I'm going to listen on port 666. I'm going to save this, exit, and basically what I'm going to do is being ready with the <coughs> this one, and I'm going to go to new terminal, exit this, clear, netcat, uh, P666, listening on that port. I'm going to cross my fingers now. Now we still have Lenny. I have two Lennys. <laughs> but I have a reverse connection. <laughs> two Lenny. <laughs> oh my. Okay, let's uh, go ahead and listen again. And I'm just not sure did anything wrong. I just no. I am calling it. Oh, I am calling. It needs to get. Oh, oh, guys. Okay, so I, yeah, you know, this is the reason I shouldn't do anything this late. So, yeah, we had a cron job going on. So, um, uh, um, Linux cron job location. I keep forgetting this. Uh, what is the cron? Whatever. Cron tab. Let's just execute this command. Um, no cron tab for Lenny. The, there is a cron. Um, yeah, let's see. Can I? Can I? Um, cron tab. Can I cat that out? I can. And it. Inside of this, we are uh, not seeing what I thought we would see. Very interesting. Hmm. There's another place it could probably be, so. Yeah, but basically I'm not gonna bother with it right now. There was a cron job and I could probably have found it. We have root now. I can cut out the root flag, uh, which I'm gonna do because this is taking far too long. Anyways, I'm gonna paste it in. Okay guys, so this, this was an easy room. If I'm gonna have to do all this again, I guess we could do it in, in like 15 minutes, but I, I tried to give you a, a room this time where I showed you a lot of things that I would <laughs> have tried to do maybe before recording the video. Maybe things that I just, you know, figured out on the go. But for this particular video, it's going to be like an hour long. Yeah, 58 minutes, 40 seconds, seconds. I hope you. you, you you get all the struggle, you, you understand why I decided to record this video and I really hope that you like like the way that I did it. So, all right, so if you like this video and you, uh, I forget what to say now, <laughs> please like, comment, subscribe, you know, I will definitely uh, reply back to you if you have any questions. So, see you until next time. Thank you.